Mike's science question. It's, uh, uh, what's going on in the bay? The sleepwalkers and sleep talkers. I'm Dr. Cammie Matthews. I'm an associate professor at the University of Wisconsin in the Department of Pediatrics in the Division of Pediatric Pulmonary and Sleep Medicine. And I'm also a pediatric sleep physician at Wisconsin Sleep Center. So they think that almost everyone will probably sleep talk at some point in their life, or at least probably more than two thirds. But for sleepwalking, when we go through our sleep, there's different types of what are called sleep stages. So you have slow wave sleep, which is like your deep sleep. And then there's dream sleep, which is um, called REM sleep as well. And we go through sleep cycles at night. We go through our deep sleep and then REM sleep and deep sleep and REM sleep. And as we, when we're sleepwalking tends to happen in your deep sleep or your slow wave sleep. And that usually happens within the first third of your night. So what's happening in your brain, to get, kind of get to that question, is that you're actually in sleep when you're sleepwalking. That's really why it's called sleepwalking. And you're in a certain stage of sleep, which is called this deep sleep or slow wave sleep. Sleepwalking can also be like other people have called um, night terrors or sleep terrors. And they use, night terrors or sleep terrors happens often in younger children, and then in sleepwalking tends to happen in older children. But they're the same type, same thing happening in your brain. So it's a what I call a continuum. From um, you can uh, be a night night you can just be waking up and kind of thrashing around and half awake in your bed, or you can be sitting up and screaming and being really frightened, or you can be getting out of bed and walking. And they're all what they're called um, uh, non-REM parasomnias, or um, non-REM is non-rapid eye movement sleep, and they're all a continuum of different things that happen in your deep sleep or slow wave sleep. And oftentimes sleepwalking t occurs in a family, so if you have a mom or a dad that has walked in their sleep, or maybe an aunt or uncle, you are more likely to walk in your sleep. Doesn't mean you will. 